I must return to Valrayo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment, where you will sit in judgment. Who will I be judging exactly? Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. Do I really need to oversee even more death? I'm nearly at capacity. I share your distaste for more bloodshed, but it needn't come to that. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the Allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. You sent for me, Inquisitor. Knight Templar Delrin Barris. We've gathered to review your military service to the Inquisition. You showed exceptional valor defending the people of Valkaleen from Venatori, and broke a siege of demons in Ansberg. You stood against an entire town that wanted to kill a mage for imagined demonic possession, without raising a sword. And thanks for your service and your help at Therenfall Redoubt. I endorse your promotion to Knight Commander of the Templar Order. Your Worship, I... I am not worthy. Your service has restored more faith in the Templars than speeches ever could. I pray to Andraste to serve many years more. Templars, will you take Sir Barris as your Knight Commander? Adamant's influence continues, Your Worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. I'm struggling to understand how judging you can make up for anything that happened. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Taventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground you've trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. You are the worst of us. The damage you have done is beyond all reckoning. A major's crime, a major's punishment. Lord Livius Erimond of Arantium, I deny you death. Tranquility. You... You cannot! I am a lord, you pissads! I will not lose myself! Yeah. 
Another of the lingering pains of adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the Headman's Axe. You were free to rejoin your comrades, and yet you present yourself here. There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. The Inquisition stands for faith. Our work has greater purpose. Sometimes we need a reminder. Sir Ruth, the Herald of Andraste forgives you in her name. Find peace in that. Your Worship, I... I will try. This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discovered this man attacking. The building. With a... goat. Chief Movran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? You answered the death of your clan with a goat. <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son, and I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. He meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. It seems our conflict was accidental, Chief Movran, but it can't be repeated. I banish you and your clan, with as many weapons as you can carry, to Tevinter. <laughs> My idiot boy got us something after all! <laughs> Knight Captain Denham, Inquisitor. He awaits judgment for serving the Lord's Seeker at Therenfall Redoubt. I knew some of the knights who died there. I asked to oversee his sentencing. The Envy Demon perhaps fooled the Knight Captain, but following his superior's orders nearly destroyed the Templars. I hope the Night Captain is lucid enough to understand what he's done. I only did as I was told. Knowingly or not, you condemned your brothers and sisters to death. You would have done the same if you hadn't abandoned the Order. I served faithfully. It went red after what the Lord Seeker told me to do.
Historically, the seekers of Therenfall Redoubt had a specific punishment for officers who failed their charges. For betraying the knights under your command, you are barred from any city outside the Sea of Ash. Lost in that wasteland? No. The other officers were to blame. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for betraying his own constituents. He confesses that, ten years ago, he flooded old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. He's pleading guilty while claiming he's not. Which is it? There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood? Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight. I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drown their own families to save them. I, I... I couldn't. The Blight was your undoing. Let it also be your means of redemption. I give you to our allies in the Grey Wardens. To fight Darkspawn until the calling takes you. I don't deserve the honor, Your Worship, but... But I'll do my best. I knew Stroud, you know, not well. He led the Wardens near Kirkwall. Not many people knew who he was, but the man was a hero when it mattered. He wasn't the first good man to fall to Corypheus. He won't be the last. This story's no good for heroes. We're taking down Corypheus before he takes any more lives. You know, sometimes when you say shit like that, I almost start to believe it. <sighs> Hawk asked me to tell everyone back in Kirkwall where she's going. I'll have to let Merrill know. I'd better write some letters. Excuse me. To know what it was like the colors the smells the magic i'm sorry it's just so exciting you went into the fade <clears throat> if you have time inquisitor do tell you seemed excited that i fell into the fade at adamant excited the spring gets me excited this is a wonder it's probably hard to relate but dwarves don't dream so i can't even guess what it's like I can't even understand what dreams are. But you were there. And came back. Can I take a sample? A sample? Oh, that sounded sinister. I meant, can I cut a little piece off of you and do things to it? That didn't sound better, did it? You're after something. What is it? 
I don't even know. There's this feeling, you know? You don't know. But I will. Hmm. Your people cleaned you up after your fall. I wonder if anything is left. So much to think about. Mind your step for things, Inquisitor. I'll see you later, Dagna. I can't wait. Let us begin. Let's see what we have. You read the report? Uh, is he always so blunt? Yes. Inquisitor. Let us begin.
Inquisitor. Inquisitor. At your service. like this. Thank you for your investment in my investigations, Inquisitor. I've learned something, I think. I don't know. What have you learned? Did you find out about the Fade? I got a scraping that was cleaned off you, and it's... weird. And the other rift bits, they're... weird. It's just... weird. I said weird, right? Answers, Dagna. Miriam and the Fade linked. But Dwarves and Tranquil? Not linked. But they work Lyrium, so they are. Somehow. And there's something there. I was face deep in a rune, and for a moment, I was tall. Really tall. <laughs> and I thought... I thought all the thoughts. <laughs> you felt taller. How much taller? mountain tall. Or I was the mountain. But I was moving. I, I felt dizzy. You know what I remembered? Watching a shaper it carve the wall of memory. Except... big. Isn't that weird? Maybe there were fumes. What do you mean when you say, thought all the thoughts? I don't know. As if, for a moment, I was around all my people. And my thought was all of theirs. Your thoughts were their thoughts. No, no, my thought was all of our thoughts. Like, parts. Ugh, words are mush. Maybe that's what the stone feels like. Or we think it feels like. If we think it feels. <laughs> Creepy. So, Tranquil and Dwarves are linked to Lyrium, but also not linked. Like the Lyrium needs to flow, but if you're part of it, it takes you with it. So you can't be part of it. That makes me sad. I'm not sure why. It seems like we should be part of it. Whatever it is. Or maybe we're the ones who make it happen. Whatever it is. You know what's frustrating? Answers that aren't answers. Blah.
Keep investigating and let me know what you find. I tried to make it happen again, but it wouldn't. And I had a headache. And Coco and a lie down. I'll keep at it. It's weird. Oh, and I made a rune. It's weird too. Be careful with it. Any news on why Corypheus is sending people to explore elven ruins, of all things? As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You're being especially serious today. I know. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I... No longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Why are you doing this? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing, 
Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. If I was possessed by a demon, would you? I would rather not consider it. Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. That's all for now. Another time, then. Recruit, I await the completion of the first of your orders. Only then can you learn to command. I'm ready to learn what you know. You have your instruction, recruit. Return when you have completed your task. helps. The spiderwebs help stop the bleeding, and they prevent wounds from getting infected. Gather as many as you can. The strangest thing, though, I can't recall where I heard that. I think I remember a young man. You have completed the order. Learn something of my way. A small step. Now you must choose to commit to the role, to the burden of command. Are you willing? I am ready to listen and learn, Commander. Then you are a recruit no more. All will see your rightful place. Come, the battlefield awaits. Night Enchanter.
He's in the Dales. He fights for the people. What people? People who need him. That is so vague as to be meaningless. Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. It's not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse, it takes... grace. You think you don't have those things? Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. It must be recorded. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the Spirit of the Divine. I saw her there, heard her voice, yet I cannot claim with certainty it was really her. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. I believe it was the Divine. She helped us one last time. I hope that's true. I want to believe it. When I realized we were physically in the Fade, I was terrified, almost beyond reason. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the Night Captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it, it turns out the Guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. Don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, oh, completely worth it.
Nothing? Unfortunate. Have we smuggled the other memory crystal into Calpurnia's camp? We have. Here. Ugh. Even honey can't sweeten Philandris. I'll keep trying. You are no slave, Linnea. I'll add another spoonful myself. Later. Calpurnia seems to be treating her new acolytes kindly. While I found that interesting, this is what you must hear. Master, forgive me. I didn't expect. The time for your ascension nears. Tell me of your preparation. They go well enough, although I'm distracted here. If I could train at the shrine. Only Dumont's faithful may enter. Continue as before. Or would you see the Imperium's rebirth stalled by your lack of focus? I will be ready, as the vessel, and to Vinter's champion. Calpurnia sounds like she's doing this for Tavinta, not Corypheus. Another deflection. Why, a dwarf and bauble, as if mine was miraculously returned to me. Let's give your new owner a glimpse of his fate. Venatori, we leave! That is all the crystal recorded before she found it, but I think it may be enough. A shrine to Dumat, Corypheus said. Where Calpenia is forbidden to go. Who is this Dumat that Corypheus mentioned? An old god, worshipped in ancient Tevinter as the Dragon of Silence. He was the first to rise as an Archdemon and bring the Blight. Truly a god fit for Corypheus. I'd bet Corypheus has something in that shrine he doesn't want Calpurnia to see. I agree. There is much to gain here. Whatever Corypheus hides from his trusted lieutenant should be illuminating. Let us investigate this shrine. Carefully. I doubt Corypheus has left it unguarded. Inquisitor? Tell me. How does it feel? How does what feel? Being you. Are you blissfully unaware? Or deep inside, is some part of you banging on the walls, screaming? Being me feels great. Like pulling on a warm pair of stockings. Continue with your merry japes. It would be sad were you forced to examine yourself with a critical eye. Although I should watch my tone. I speak to a demigod after all. The chosen of Andraste. Do you enjoy the worship? Does it make you feel infallible? Or do you see them as fools, gullible for their belief? You're welcome to think whatever you like. I believe I was chosen. So your great maker will stop anything terrible from happening? How's that working so far? Are you glad to have the Templars back at your side? A strong, proud organization founded on the fear of magic. What a wonderful job it has done.
The Templars protect people. Yes! From thinking! Why am I surprised? You supported the Grey Wardens. Their blind zealotry must be a solace. I should thank you, Inquisitor. I had spent time with few of your people before this. From the stories, I thought you all thuggish, simple and crude. Now? Now I know I was right. You have no idea what a comfort that is. Happy to help, Solus. We should do this more often. We truly should. The new power you wield. I heard from Cassandra that it is the magic of the Night Enchanters. If I am not mistaken, the techniques descend from those of ancient elven mages, called arcane warriors. I wonder what they would think to see their magic used in defense of the Chantry. I doubt they were called arcane warriors in elven. The formal name for the techniques you have learned was the Durthena and Nasaline. Knowledge that led to victory. Mages who eschewed physical confrontation called it Gilanim Banalven, the path that leads astray. What can you tell me about the arcane warriors? They were elite guardsmen, serving as bodyguards or champions for nobles, as I understand. Mages who focused on spirits or the Fade might sneer at their physicality, but never doubted their honor. They were the living embodiment of will made manifest. Mind shaping the body into the perfect weapon. I hope the ancient elven warriors would be pleased to see their techniques survive. I hope so as well. So much knowledge has been lost. Perhaps having something they created carried forward, even in such a different form, would gratify them. Did you need anything else? We'll talk later. Of course. Inquisitor, I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven, the Fade, escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? She knew it was either her or me, and she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. Wait. You don't know what she meant, either. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. I understand the Inquisition has tracked down the missing Seekers. Care Oswin. I didn't see Ban Loren as the sort of nobleman that would become involved in this war. The sooner we go there, the sooner I can put this search behind me. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Oh. Uh, I see. Heard? 
of she who stands behind the throne. No. But you like demons! I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. There has to be some middle ground between do nothing and bind coal with blood magic. Indeed. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect coal as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. So, this is Skyhold. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. He's not gonna get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. I'm grateful for your support. It's my job, isn't it? Killing Darkspawn. Look, in spite of it all, there is hope. The people flock to your banner. They believe in you. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. I was chosen by Andraste. She saved me. We shouldn't question it. I don't. We all need to believe in something. Heard what went on in that Fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. We can stew about what we saw for ages, but some of us didn't come back. Knew you'd get what was important. Yammer, yammer, visions and shite. People are dead. Probably. Stroud, yeah? Lost a serious moustache there. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerith, when the blight ended. A 
A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died, or I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden? You forget the hero of Ferelden. That was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. Inquisitor, come have a drink. To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend. <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. Um. That little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Tarsed Athan Halsam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well, as much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here, your turn. That thing you just said. You shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be, I will bring myself sexual pleasure later, while thinking about this with great respect. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us. I know, right? Mm. The second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi. The glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why do you think the Kunari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more... dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But... A few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamathrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed... <sighs> ...spoke to me. Dragons are big and powerful, but they're just animals. They're more than that. Shit, the Vents used to worship the damn things. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. <coughs> <laughs> nice! To dragons! To building order out of chaos. Even if it means killing some dragons along the way. Even... even if... 
Especially if... Again. Again. Uh, come on. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Perhaps you can take over. Gunari training exercise to master your fear. I heard about the nightmare at Adamant. Sounded big. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? You fought in that siege. Every demon at Adamant wanted to tear you in half. Ugh! I bet, you demon assholes! Ugh! And who killed you? Ugh! That's right! Iron fucking ball! <sighs> oh. Oh. I needed that. Thanks, boss. And that works for you? <sighs> yep. <sighs> All right, then. Is this a bad time? I can come back. No, it, it's all right. Bills are really not that engrossing. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed a chosen one before. I'm a person like any other. You don't have to treat me differently. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm overthinking things. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. What am I to you, then? None of this shit makes any sense to me. Is this the end of the world? Did Andraste send you through the breach? I have no idea. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Please tell me you aren't going to burst into song now. Don't worry, I'm not that cruel. I should probably get back to work, unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Sorry, I really need to write some letters. Another time, all right?
you have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. If I knew what you were looking for, I could help you. Because you're a mage? Considering education standards in the South, that's hardly a recommendation. Ah, I apologize. That was unworthy. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the Abyssal Rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. So, I should be happy I accomplished something so grand. Concerned. More like. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. It's a noble calling, the Knight Enchanter. You have joined the ranks of the most select mages. You should be commended. So few have the discipline necessary. I didn't realize you were a Knight Enchanter, Vivienne. Of course I am, darling. Knight Enchanters serve in the highest echelons of the Chantry and Circle. Where else would I be? I simply prefer to be on the front line. It's always best to take charge, my dear. I told them the offer was the best we could do. Of course they said no. They want to choke us. They think we're too remote to do Is Knight Captain Ryland satisfied with his post? It's not an easy assignment, but if anyone can handle the approach, it's him. Inquisitor. All right. <sighs> what happened in Adamant is a shame. I'm still reeling over the army of demons. Imagine what would have happened if the Inquisitor hadn't arrived.
Let us begin. So this is the shrine Corypheus hid from Calpurnia. There are similar places in Tevinter. Notice how you feel it in the back of your mind. There's power here. Or was. It is far, far too quiet.
Vanya prepares to set foot in the place where it wrecked dwell to bring it into the world. She cannot know what must be done. She cannot understand. In time, she will forgive. Yeah. The others never return from the Black City. There is no record even of our names. We are vilified by legend. They spit on our deeds and claim we brought them down. Light, light the burner ere the teaspoon of cinnabar. He came down in fire and splendor. Chapter 9, verse 1. Look at that containment spell. It would hold a dozen pride demons. What is this? Who are you? Magister Eresthenes, am I a scholar of Timinter? To Corypheus, I am bound to answer every question. Gertanius, <coughs> ah! oh, I am lost. Corypheus did this to you? On Calpurnia's behalf? She knows not of what. I am a ruin, the jeweled husk when the butterfly leaves. I was the greatest scholar of the old gods in Minrathus. No, in the Imperium. One night, he came to my door. For my relics, I thought, my writings and runes. And instead, my slave went to his side, Calpurnia, to become the vessel and save T. 
der Winter. If Calpurnia is this vessel, what are the contents going to be? I do not know. Power. It, it must be some sort of power. Power like Ethemius, risen in flame. Is that why Calpurnia joined Corypheus? To save your empire? Yes. She seeks a leader, Corypheus, to shape Tevinter's rebirth. Oh, oh. She would raise up the slaves as, as she was raised. Bring a new order with, with a heart of steel. She could do it if she were not the vessel. When is Calpurnia becoming this vessel? How? Where? I do not know those answers. Oh, oh. But after Corypheus crafts a vessel for whatever power he seeks, yes. But he does not need his vessel to have free will. About her, these same chains will fall. I am to cage lightning. My binding. Is the poor pencil sketch. Campania will be the masterpiece. Corypheus couldn't risk Calpurnia's spies bringing her the truth. No fool he, nor she. This chain has broken me, friend. No wings can raise my mind. Please. Breach the circle. Its wards will trigger. I will be dust and light. Free. Or it will kill us. Corypheus is not above placing such a trap. Corypheus' circle will hold its destruction within. Tight. Tight. No fear. Only freedom. All right. You seem honest, and you've suffered enough. Light a lamp, would you, Calpurnia? Everything's so dark.
Herr Oswin. Odd that the trail should lead us here. Ban Loren is a pious, unassuming man. What has he become involved in? He might simply be a victim as well. Let's see what lies within. Promises. I should have known. The Order of Fiery Promise is a cult with strange beliefs about the Seekers. They've hounded us for centuries. What kind of strange beliefs? They believe they are Seekers, the only rightful ones. They say we robbed their powers long ago, preventing them from ending the world. Ending the world? The only way to truly eradicate evil in their eyes the world will be reborn a paradise. It's all nonsense. Why haven't the Seekers dealt with them? We have, many times. They simply reappear after a time like weeds. Nobody knows how. Is it possible to negotiate with them? They're fanatics, drunk on whatever forbidden magic they can find to make themselves true Seekers. This explains why the Seekers might be here but not the connection to Corypheus. Did they torture him to death? The promises will pay for this. As the Seekers of Truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. Reclaim your destiny, and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Magister Calpurnia, leader of the Venatori. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? Corypheus will probably betray them before they get their chance. But after he gets what he needs out of them. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. The letter said Seekers were resistant to Red Lyrium. 
Our abilities grant us many gifts, but the resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus, Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. We'll find them, Cassandra. I know we will. One way or another. Daniel! Daniel! Can you hear me? Cassandra! It is you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No! They put a, a demon inside me. It's tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. That's impossible! I'm not possessed. They... Fed me things. I can feel it growing.
Can we do anything? I don't know. This thing inside him. The Lord Seeker. You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here, one by one. An important mission, he said. Lies. He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. Could it have been the demon from Therinfal? No. The demon came later. But a demon couldn't simply take his place without anyone noticing. The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he... ...came here. If we find the Lord Seeker, he's dead. Wait! Don't leave me like this, please! You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. He was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Seeker Lucius. Lord Seeker Lucius. Cassandra, with a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. Call off your men, or this only ends one way. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago, as you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi, a war. ...that will see no end. And aiding Corypheus is supposed to help. Corypheus is a monster with limited ambition. And your ambition is so much greater. 
We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. He's completely mad, isn't he? Lord Seeker, what you've done... I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. He was insane. He had to be. Perhaps the Envy Demon's influence? Remove the Lord Seeker so it could take over the Templars. If so, the plan worked perfectly. He could not have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this Book of Secrets.
soul just seeps into your bones, doesn't it?
The reports from our agents at the shrine are intriguing. You were correct. Once Calpurnia becomes the vessel, she will lose her freedom. Forgive me, but I wish you hadn't been so quick to throw the Enspelled Magister away. Erasthenes was suffering. He had already told me everything. We can never be certain now. Corypheus's notes mention a place where regret dwells. That is more of a mystery. Until the notes are deciphered, I intend rumors of the binding ritual to reach Calpurnia's ears. Breaking her alliance with Corypheus can only help us. Breaching his sanctum might give Corypheus pause, yet Calpurnia is silent, as are her agents. We have given her something to think about. The Templars will be an asset to this Inquisition. It's a shame we couldn't also get the mages on our side. I'll leave you to your work. I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out, or... what's his name? Are you worrying for me, or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Any friend of Varix is welcome here. Be careful saying things like that. Some of his friends you don't want to meet. Well, maybe you do. Who am I to judge? Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartrand's folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. None of the Wardens we saw wavered. They gave their lives willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you.
Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions. Their sacrifice. Honor their selflessness. Clarel made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. This... this is just... it's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. I'm pleased that you feel that way. Makes me sound like a Chantry sister, doesn't it? Some giddy new initiate. But so be it. I suppose you've earned my loyalty and girlish enthusiasm. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. There's wisdom in that. It was a Chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. That was generous of him. He said I stood to gain everything, while he'd lose nothing. When it was over, he offered to mentor me. To teach me to become a Chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. You're here now, a Grey Warden. It worked out. I suppose it did, didn't it? But I'm older, hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look, see if there's anything we can salvage. Nothing right now. And there he goes. No one knows who he really is. They never do. You don't understand. Fairbanks fights for us and others. He has to stay hidden. He's like Hood or Ill Edge. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even. Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? You're taking this rather seriously. He is, isn't he? You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. 
But between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. Right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition, or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. You can't be serious all the time. Well, maybe you can. <laughs> I believe this one is yours. Well played. Inquisitor? That's all for now. I'm sure you... nursery with not a space wasted. We'll want for nothing. Our soldiers handled themselves well in Adamant. We've come a long way since Haven. I fear there's still a ways to go, but we're prepared.
Let's see what we have. Any Venatori activity? If my agents find anything, you will be the first to know. Inquisitor. Let us begin. Let's see what we have. To work? At your service. Right.
Let's see what we have. Inquisitor. All right. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of Fade Rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach, on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Oh, uh, one other thing. A group of deserters from the Imperial armies has established itself here. Freemen of the Dales, they call themselves. They are hostile to the Inquisition, and everyone else. Watch your back, Inquisitor. <laughs> 